Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, or of course, show train A is day every. What? Every day is a train show. Okay. You all right, brother? I don't know. Too many trains. But we have another wonderful show that we're going to be showcasing that hopefully will show some more products that will be resurrecting and building and creating life. On your railroad and today we're going to start with some kits from walters we got two new kits here this the first one here is the modern diesel fueling fueling facility and this is a really cool looking kit if you need a fueling facility i mean after all your diesel's have to run right yeah, so theoretically fuel. if you don't have this your trains can't operate get it today and then another one that we have here is this brand new steel warehouse Ooh, look at that one it's a warehouse and it's made of steel that's good stuff. Now these kits are awesome if you want to decorate your layout with a whole bunch of different buildings or accessories, or if you have a bunch of kits at home that you need to keep busy for a bunch of hours, this is what I recommend. Now the diesel fueling facility retails for our, uh, I'm sorry, our price on this one is $30.98. And then the steel warehouse here is $63.98. So we always focus a lot on the trains, but maybe not necessarily on the buildings. So come get these kits and I have a hundred more upstairs. So if you're looking for something else, type in our website, yankeedabler.com com search what you're looking for and hopefully we have it for you let's take a look at some tank cars while we're at it here and general you like tank cars i like tank cars oh yeah cool. well these are these new tank cars here from Athern. check out these bad boys here i really like the look of these tank cars here because they are very modern looking they have a lot of detailing i love the double shelf couplers did i say that correct engineer hall yes you got it correctly oh yeah good things are happening these are really nice looking cars here let's go on the one for a closer inspection here and as you can see let's take a look right here at just the amount of detailing that goes into these cars here. Now, Engineer Hall, what does that label tell us? I got corrosive material. Ooh, okay. So you better not derail this one. I have nice metal wheels here. I have a steam engine in the background. And this is just a great looking car here. Now we can never have too many tank cars and I have a bunch of different road numbers to go with these cars. So the retail value of these is $54.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $43.99. It's a great deal to get on these cars, so I highly recommend that you hop on your steam engine, get some of these uh, tank cars rolling on your railroad today. Now here at the channel, we have a lot of different things that we showcase. We showcase new products at Yankee Dabbler stuff at the ENH Railroad. But we actually are trying to introduce some new services that we could provide to you, model railroaders. Wait a minute, we got new services? We got some new things. For example, oh, sound exciting. All right, so for fifty dollars a month, we're going to provide something really awesome. So I know a lot of your, you know, spouses or girlfriends or whatever probably look at your bank statements and they might see Yankee Dabbler. Well, don't worry because for fifty dollars, if you want. Our phone number will have Engineer Hall answer and say that we're actually some type of orphanage charity type of thing. So that when they answer, they'll be like, oh, wow, he's spending more money on charity, not trains. This guy's awesome. Let's make him dinner. Okay. Oh, that, that, that Right, right. That, 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 right. That's a good idea. That's, a good, right. that's a good one. So that's a good if you're one. interested, type into the comment page uh, down below. Hey, let's take a look at some 68 foot rail guns from Walters. Check out these bad boys here because they look awesome. So I have here a couple of different road names, and I have a bunch of numbers here. So I got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have this traditional CTX rail gun. I got the Crab Orchard and Egyptian. That's a really neat looking one here. A little Herrera called the CSX, and of course the Southern Pacific. Now these are really cool looking cars here. If anyone's ever seen a railgun unit train before, you know it is a really neat look there. I could put some loads in here if I want, or I could keep them empty. It really is up to you what you want to do. You can see all the different detailing on these. I like the reflective bands on that one here. I mean, this is just really nice looking cars here. Metal wheels. I always enjoy metal wheels on my cars here. I do have springs on my couplers, so that is really nice here. I mean, this is just a really cool looking car. I even like the little divots up top. You see those little, what are those called, engineer hall? Uh, little holes you can uh, strap down a little bit. All right, that's really cool. So a lot of detailing going on with these cars. Now these rail cons retail for $31.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.18. So I, again, I know a lot of you have probably seen a rail gun unit train before. I got a bunch of different road numbers here. I can make a really nice long unit train and be the envy of everybody that likes rail guns. Oh, especially TTX when you, the, the yellow and the black is nice. You gotta get it. 
Yeah, see? So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these rolling on your way today. So we got another service I grab provide for you for $100. Guess what? Engineer Hall will come to your child's birthday party. All right, he'll even bring his engine. Yes, I'll bring engines, boxcars, and we can have a great time. Now, do they have to live near the railroad for that to happen? I prefer customers need okay. to. Okay, what know. happens if they don't live near the railroad? I got pretty premium. Yeah, it uh, gets a little dicey there. But anyway, hey, so if you're interested in that, type in our YouTube comment page and say, Engineer Hall, come to my birthday party. He also requires cake. Hey, let's take a look at these Atlas GP40s. Check out these buddy, uh, puppies here. I really like these, these locomotives here. I have here the Port Harbor Railroad. You got company today? And this is honoring the first responders. I really enjoy that one. I have here the Canadian Pacific. I have two CSXs. Now, the one I took out here is the maintenance away one, but I also had the traditional uh, gray and blue paint scheme. I have here the Rio Grande. That's an awesome looking engine here. I got the Santa Fe. The Susquehanna. The MKT. And I also have a couple of other engines that I didn't bring out. There's actually 13 different ones here, including one of these. This is a really cool one. This is the Operation Lifesaver 50th Anniversary Diesel Locomotive. This is a really cool looking engine here. Now, if anyone is looking for something odd and unusual, something unique, and something gold, this is the engine that you need. I also have upstairs two versions of a Penn Central. I have a Union Pacific and a Main Central one. So I got a bunch of different GP40s. They look awesome. They sound great. And I, this one's just gold. We got to run it. I mean, because it's, it's gold. So let's check out this diesel locomotive. All right, so I have this Operation Lifesaver on the track. I have the ditch lights happening here. I have illuminated number wars. This is a really cool looking diesel locomotive. Let's start her up. Got a conductor there. That sounds great. Let's take a listen to the bell. One. Cool. Let's get started. Back her up. I got some rail guns while we're here. Well done. Now arriving on track number one, the gold engine. Golden eye. Gold engine. Hey, how much of a brick of gold going for nowadays? Money. 
<laughs> That's a really neat looking engine. I was talking to Engineer Hall. I really love the squeaking type of noises that the wheels are making. It, it just sounds awesome. It looks great. And I think you definitely need this engine or one of its sisters on your railroad. Now the retail value of these engines are $299.95, but we're selling here a Yankee Dappler for $209.99. So it's an awesome deal to get on these diesel locomotives. You can always throw in that engineer hall discount as well. But I think you definitely need these engines pull on. I mean, everyone needs a GP40. Just come to Yankee Dappler and get that engine running. So another service that we're gonna be providing on Engineer Hall's channel is a cameo appearance. That's right. I know a lot of celebrities are doing that cameo website where they do like little pre-recorded messages. So we are offering cameos from uh, uh, Yankee Dabbler employees, such as my buddy Ken here. So for $200, you could get Ken, Ken, yeah, hi, come here. All right, for $200, you could get Ken to do a pre-recorded message for you. Ken, give an example of what you would do. Hello. I mean, money well spent. So, I mean, you know, if you want Ken to give you a, a message, yeah. Is there any Everglades? I know we probably want another diesel locomotive. So we have these SD45s from Athens that are really cool. Check out these engines here. I think they're really neat looking. So the first one I have here is a Seaboard Coastline. And I like that pulling for you slogan. That's really cool on that engine. I have this engine here from the Norfolk Southern. I know Engineer Hall is probably familiar with this locomotive. Never heard. Oh, okay. I have here the Santa Fe and the blue and yellow paint scheme. And my particular favorite one is this Bicentennial Santa Fe version as well. This is a really cool hook and diesel locomotive. Now, I want to give a little um, PSA on this Santa Fe one right here. So, this is a great looking engine. I mean, take a look at the front there. This looks awesome. It has all the various stars and striping for the bicentennial there is a shield that actually is made of metal it's a little metal dish or plate that goes right there the problem is when atherin put these in their packaging they put it down here a little bit too far and when the wheels turn they actually pop off and I opened up a couple of them, and most of them had the shield broken off. It's an incredibly easy fix. Even if you just have some Elmer's glue at home, you can fix this. And my recommendation would be to put it a little bit higher than it was originally, a little bit lower. I put it a little bit higher. It has the notch there that you can put it on the, the spoke there. I just think that is a really easy fix to do. So if you get this engine and you see that, don't get bummed out. It's just a really easy, simple fix. And if you need some glue, we got some really awesome glues here at Yankee Dabbler by Deluxe Materials. I really enjoy these. These are uh, part of the Rocket series here. I got Rocket Odorless. I got Rocket Rapid. I got Rocket Max. I also have here this regular, well, this one's not going to work with that one. This is a plastic glue. But I got a whole bunch of different glues that I can choose from. So if I get, if you get that engine, and I think it's an awesome looking engine. We're actually going to run that one. But if you get the engine, that little pl thing came off, don't freak out. Just glue back on there. It'll be good as new. And actually better because you'll avoid that little issue with the trucks. Uh, I think we got a, a, a glue on service now we can provide to the customers. Yes. So for $500, we will send Christian over to your house and he'll just glue anything anything oh 99 cents surcharge sorry I thought well I yeah i mean you know there's tax and everything like that but for not uh five hundred dollars he'll glue pretty much your whole house so just gotta watch out for his beard when i get stuck on things all right <laughs> so anyway as i mentioned i really like this bicentennial engine so we're gonna run this one so all aboard the usa all right let's get fired up shall we This is a really neat locomotive here. I really like these flashing lights that I have up here. This looks awesome. It sounds good. Here's the bell. The horn. Oh yeah. Let's get started.
throw some more railguns. That's a great looking engine. It sounds awesome. It does some neat little things. Uh, the retail value of these diesel locomotives is three hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety eight cents. But we're selling here at Yankee Dollar for two seventy one ninety nine. So it's an awesome deal to get on these engines here. I really do like that bicentennial engine there. So come to Yankee Dollar and get these engines before you missed out. If you're kicking yourself that you did. Wow, what a lot of great things that we saw on today's show. And of course, we offered a whole bunch of new services here exclusively found on the Engineer Hall's channel. The last one that we have to offer is for $1,000. I will personally come to your business meeting or corporate event and deliver my motivational speech, Too Many Train Boxes, How to Climb the Mountain of Success and Clutter. Wow, I'm so motivated. I know, right? Oh my gosh. It, it, it's going to be great. So, comment on that YouTube comment page. All right, let's take a look at some of the things that we uh, looked at today here. And from Walther's, we had here these rail guns. If we take a look at the rail guns, there you go. I'm sorry, I'm still motivated. I'm sorry, I just motivated okay, to do this. I'm sorry, there you go. All right, so we had here these rail guns here from Walters. And again, uh, from after, we had two different things that we took a look at here. We took a look at those SD45s, as well as these various different tank cars. And then from Atlas, we had here these GP40s. I have a couple here, and of course, I had a couple over there. And as I mentioned, I have a whole bunch more on our website. So if you saw a road name that we didn't take a look at, go on our website. And now we took a look at some Walther's kits as well, like this diesel fueling station and this steel warehouse. But of course, as always, if you were looking for something that we did not showcase here on today's show, what you go is go on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in that search bar what you're looking for. And we will get it out of our warehouse, ship it to you, so you can have just hours and hours of enjoyment. After all, that's the goal, right? If you're not already click, uh, subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest and greatest things that we have happening on our show. It's the summertime, Engineer Hall. What do you got coming up? Uh, doing train stuff, you know, doing a lot of train stuff in the, for the, for the E&H Railroad, you know, doing a lot of wiring. Um... Yeah. Riveting. So make sure you subscribe and get caught up on wiring videos. <laughs> anyway, we're going to conclude today's rail fan video, but we're going to go to the East Broadtop Railroad. It's an air gauge railroad in Orbisonia, Pennsylvania, that actually just got its uh, operation going again for the first time in quite a while. Now, Engineer Hall, I'm going to give you the option. Do you want to see a diesel operate or do you want to see a steam engine operate? Well, I have both. I knew you were going to do that. So we're going to take a look at a 45 tonner and a Mikado going through the East Broad Top. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in. And now if, you, now if you excuse me, i got to continue to work on my motivational speech here. So I think my opening line is, raise your hand if you have too many train boxes. Of course, everybody's hand will go up. And then I'm going to say, raise your hand if your boxes have forced you to move out of your house. And of course, everyone's got to raise their hand. Then I'm going to say, raise your hand if your spouse is tolerant of this. And of course, nobody's hand will go up. And then I'm gonna say, okay, uh, maybe I'll have a joke of some kind, like you know. Hey, hey, hey I'm sorry, Dave. What? What's in these boxes you keep They're bringing train up? Train boxes. Of course, we all have engines and freight cars and passenger cars and steam engines. There's just too many boxes. You can't throw all out the boxes. I don't know what we're supposed to do with them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I mean, you can flatten it, but then you have to cut the, the paper thing in the middle. I mean, I, I, how am I supposed to figure that? I don't. I, I, this is too many boxes. And then this hobby, you can't get rid of anything. I mean, I don't know what it is. And then everything says so. You got diesel, you got steam engines, you know. And then not to mention, hey, 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 what? Yeah, you forgot electric. <laughs>